Hey friends, it's Robo Monsto. I'm back for more Battle Royale. I have won a Derek Holland card with my two wins. I'm working toward that Coco Crisp. Do I have what it takes to get a silver card? Don't know. But we're going to play anyway. We are going up against the Sluggers, who might have the greatest logo of all time. Props to you, Sluggers. That is awesome. The, the chest needs more hair, though. That is good. Look at that beard. He's got four trees to chop down. I like it. Okay, as we know, I have one loss, so I gotta win this game against the Chicago Sluggers. Got Bronson Arroyo towing the rubs. Get to that ball. Get to... All right. Let's give him some inside heat. It's cold in Chicago. They need to put the heat on. Oh. Oh, good. Todd Frazier. I was so busy looking at his cool logo that I didn't even notice that my best friend and yours, Todd Frazier, is playing for the Lumberjacks. We're not scared of Todd Frazier. Where? How did that get through you? You stink. No big thing. Oh, yeah. What? What? Oh, I'm going to hurt somebody. I am going to hurt somebody. If that comes back to bite us, you're cut, Daniel Murphy. Just keep these uh, wibbly-wobbly pitches going. Get that to first. There we go. Oh, never been so nervous on a throw to first before. And now I'm ready to play the sport. Is that a base hit? Get that. Ooh. He was, he was in. He was drawn way in, and he still couldn't catch the ball. What a loser. Let's steal. Go. Steal the base. All right. Yes. Come on, Ryan. Ooh, Rhino. <sighs> With 80 speed, I was expecting you to get there a little bit faster. It's Miggy time. Come on, Miggy. Oh, no. That's a double play. But we're going to get him into third. Okay, he just sacrificed himself and Rhino to get the man to third, and now we have Matt Adams up. Matt Adams will not be denied. Oh, no. Okay. He's being denied. Not this time. 0-2 oh, to Matt Adams. Man on third. Two down. Come on, Matt. Do. No! All right, after that ugly first inning where I should have scored, and he should have scored, it's scoreless. What are the odds, you know? Bronson Arroyo, Hanley Ramirez. This is a matchup for the ages, and he gets him looking. I've got to get better with my clutch hitting. I'm learning that more and more. Clutch hitting is very important in MLB 16. As your, as your rank goes up, I think that it gets a little bit harder to hit home runs. Uh, the game gets a little more small ball-y, and i got to take advantage of the fact that I have good contact hitters. We got him. Oh, yes. Bronson Arroyo knows what I'm talking about. He's coming to hang out with me. I'm now uh, orbiting Venus. It is so stormy on Venus. It's raining some sort of uh, mineral. I don't even know, like metal. It's just falling from the sky. It's weird. Speaking of weird, here's Matt Kemp hitting a big 100 for me. Matt Kemp doesn't like having a 100 batting average. He's not going to let that stay with it. There we go. Beautiful. Nice hit. We got a man on first, nobody out. This is where we got to work on our clutch hitting. Franklin Gutierrez, you are our first clutch hitter of the game, as far as I'm concerned, and you grounded into a double play. Oh. Now Daniel Murphy's up. I'm suspicious of Daniel Murphy. I believe he's being paid off by all the teams I'm playing against. Now, I know I have him out of position at catcher, and that's my fault, but he promised me that his bat was so good that I wouldn't be able to live without him. To pitch to Dyson. Miles Dyson. That reminds me, uh, Terminator 2, fantastic movie. Could it be my favorite sequel of all time? I can't think of ones that I liked a lot more than that. Uh, I absolutely adore Young Guns 2. Uh, it's one of those movies that if it comes on, I'm sitting there and watching the whole thing. I don't care what I have to do. If it comes on, my two hours, 
forfeit. I love Emilio. What am I supposed to do? Other great Emilio Estevez films. Of course, Mighty Ducks. But let's not forget Repo Man. Probably his finest work. If I were Emilio Estevez and I were allowed to be buried with one of my films, it would be Mighty Ducks. Followed by Repo Man. I've seen Mighty Ducks roughly a million times. I can't lie. That's why when I started watching Dawson's Creek, I remembered Pacey as that kid from Mighty Ducks. He just looks like a creepily grown-up version of that kid from Mighty Ducks. He just... He must live a clean life, you know? Or he's just ready to fall off the good-looking cliff or something. He's always looked young. He's not like Danny Bonaducci, who went from 12 to 50. Man, that man is hideous. And if you're listening, Danny Bonaducci, I will fight you. So did anybody watch the movie Hush? It's on Netflix, Instant Watch. I would check it out. It's about a deaf woman who uh, gets a really, really cruel visitor to her house in the country. Uh, it's it's a lot of fun. It's a, it's a Blumhouse production, so the guy that produces all of the paranormal activity and Conjuring movies and the Annabelle movie and all those... All the movies that actually are scary, uh, it's one of those movies. And this one's a little more uh, violent than, you know, terrifyingly scary, but I'll take it. I was pretty sure I had two outs, you know, and then I started thinking about Hush. And Hush is good. Oh, get him at third. All right, get him at third. Yeah, 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 yeah. Run back, run back, run back. You are out. Thank you for making the inning shorter. I may not always be paying attention, but sometimes Robo Monsto is paying attention. Oh, this guy won't let me pause. Ugh. All right, that's a ball. I'll take it. Let me pause. There we go. Okay, so who are we going to put in to do some damage? You know who we're putting in. Professional hitsman, Neely Walker. Professional hit beast, Neely Walker. Mets, Phenom. Oh, get the first. Ah... <sighs> I tell these guys, if you hit the ball fair, you're getting on first. If you don't, you're cut. Brantley, he knows the rules. That's foul. That's right. I'm noticing that I'm doing my home jersey a lot better than my road one. I have a lot of little fixes I need to do to my road jersey. Yeah, I'm into the whole jersey building thing. If anybody has any idea for my jersey, leave a comment. Oh, Brantley, that's a popper. You know, if you had any power, we'd be looking at a one nothing lead. But instead, we're looking at no runs because you suck. So we got to make sure that we nibble at the plate here and live to fight another inning. First off against Winfield. Winfield, he's tired. He's hot. He doesn't like California. He wants to go home. Whoa! Okay. Okay, we've got we've got two strikes on him. Let's make him let's make him protect the plate here. Give him a slider on the outside corner. See if he goes fishing. Nope, nope, nope. All right, that's fine. We've changed his eye line. He's not going to be expecting this pitch. Mm. Slider for you. No, get foul. This ball is listening to me right now. Here, can you hit this one? Good. Thank goodness. Kyle Schwarber, catcher extraordinaire. I was reading on a forum today that people don't like throwing against him because he moves his bat just as you're, you know, lining up your meter. I'm noticing that too. That's annoying. I'm going to have to use this guy. Miggy. Miggy looking shaded in his shades. Didn't get enough of that one. I've yet to hit any big flies with him. All right, Matt Adams, you got a righty on the mound. This is what you're living for. And you did that? Mm, another bad inning. Uh, sometimes these, these games will happen. Battle Royale seems to be very even. I mostly have even matches in this. Let's get your average up a little. Yeah, if I wouldn't have moved my reticle, that would have been gone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in Veal. It's lefty time. Started out with the Veal curve. Oh, yeah. Let's give him another one of the veal curves. Oh, yeah. How are we going to end this at bat? With a veal curve. What? He was out? All right, don't get mad. Get even. Change up low. 
All right, everybody, what are we throwing this time? Sing along with me. Veal curve! This guy is learning to not swing at garbage. See what's happening? We're playing humans too much. Humans learn. You keep poking a human in the face, eventually they're going to be like, why are you poking me in the face? That's because humans are smart. Oh, <sighs> veal curve. Now I don't know what to do because this guy would crush a veal curve. Should I take this guy out? Should I take him out? No. No, we're going to leave him in. Is that a bad idea? Is it a bad idea to leave in veal? Now I got to throw a strike. Oh, good. All right, Brett Gardner's up. Do you think Brett Car Gardner would mind seeing one of those veal curve? Another veal curve. That's a strike. Yeah, you know, you know, you sometimes you get what you what you want. Whoa, not at his face. Dude, we would have been out of this inning if you could throw it anywhere near the plate. Oh, now you're just being dumb. Veal change? Okay. All right. Okay, we all know what pitch we need to pitch. Everybody sing it without me this time. Yep, there we go. It was the veal, veal curve. Donnie Veal, inventor of the famous veal curve. He's probably not intimidated by these lumberjacks because he looks like one. Hits it right back at the center fielder. That's going nowhere. Come on, team. I paid 1,500 stubs for you guys. 1,500 stubs. You know how many stubs that is? 1,500. It's a lot. I don't just have stubs all over the place. I'm not covered in stubs. Not yet. But if I do stay in the oh, radioactive sunlight, I will. There we go. E3 gets me to first. That's my first base runner in a while. Rhino? Okay. Okay. He's throwing at Rhino to get to Cabrera. Good idea. Maybe he watched my last video and knows that I can't hit with Cabrera. Oh. Did I go? Hmm. All right, Cabrera, let's be a little more picky about pitches here. Did you get that around? Okay, okay, we got it around. Let's go home. What are you doing? Oh, jeez. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back. <sighs> Why did he not round the base? We could have had a run. Okay, so I'm going to have a slight heart attack here as the pressure is on. No, Matt Adams, don't do it. Don't do it. We got it. <gasps> oh, oh, we got it. Get out. Get out! Veal curve! That's a grand salami! Lumberjacks, take that to the woods. Oh, baby! We ended the game in dramatic fashion. Matt Adams doing what I couldn't do in real life. That's why I'm playing video games from space. And that's why he's getting to play baseball for real. Speaking of pretty cool, you guys are pretty cool. I'm going to head out for now, but remember, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Tell me something interesting about your day. Ask me a question. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions on my next video. I promise I will, unless I don't. And that is a promise. Remember, if you know anybody that can help me get out of space, have them give me a call. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.